the birch, nature's gift to Canada. Its shimmering beauty stretches across vast expanses of northern forest. The birch lines its rivers, shelters the noble moose, the secretive bear, feeds the frisky beaver. In the autumn of 2007, the birch drew two adventurers down a treacherous Yukon waterway. They would become the canoe builders of the mighty McQuestion. Here we are on the banks of the McQuestion. Here's Bob of the Yukon and the bank of the river about to begin the journey. We're traveling light as you can see. <laughs> We're built for speed, efficiency. The mighty McQuestion. The mighty mountains bordering the McQuestion River. Makes me want to sob, really, not when you talk like that. <laughs> anyway, we're boiling our second pot of coffee this morning while we're struggling with this canoe construction project. The canoe is going very well, by the way. Huh? For all you people at home, I just want you to know that uh, we're well on our way. We're, we're contemplating a design. Oh, design, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, Yukon design. We're going to do the uh, traditional Yukon canoe. Yes. Open concept canoe. Open concept. Except it's got a cover at the top. At yes. The, at the front. Yes, we could do that too. Yeah, we could. It's all around us really, the supplies that we need. Well, anybody can build a canoe. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. You just have to want to. Yeah. You just, you just got to breathe yeah. enough smoke. <laughs> we are going to make a canoe with this tool. First we rummaged through the forest. We found some, we found a big tree. Found big, a, tree. Oh, a big tree. Perhaps too big. Might be huge. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to go? Peeky boo. <laughs> Peeky boo. <laughs> Get it off. Well, we're gonna wedge this tree down here. Yes, And then down here. We're gonna wedge the tree down here. Let me just take a step back. We'll cut from the other side. We're going to lay it right over there where it's most convenient for our birch bark canoe builders. Of well, that's... Great proficiency to proceed. Oh, okay. Okay, Pierre. Go ahead. We're going to do this with a saw. We're going to wedge it with a saw. Wedge it with a saw? Both hands. Oh, okay. That thing down. That means I have to stop. Yes. Here's Bob. Wedging away with his wedgie. We're in the process of trying to make the tree go where we want it to go. So our camera went out of commission for a short time. I think it was about five minutes ago that, that we are cutting down this tree. And now we've got her down and we are peeling the bark. You can see how easily the bark just peels off like butter. Let's follow the trail of the smoke, my friends. Oh. Even though, even though we haven't seen a fly on this two-day journey, we have a smudge fire for flies. <laughs> yes. Partly because our feet are frozen and there's a constant humidity. Constant humidity causes our camera to die. Bob oh. triumphantly emerged from the forest <laughs> with winter bark. With bark. Winter bark. Winter bark that can be used in the making of a... And he's gotten it off with textbook ease. Yes, indeed. There we go. I think I only need about 300 of these pieces. We'll have our canoe done. Yeah. Okay. We're making progress. Let's see what we're doing here. Now, what's involved in this? So you have to tease the bark off the tree. Ah. So you just convince the tree it really doesn't need its bark on it anymore. 
because in spite of what we read on the internet, <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't quite peel off. With, like, like butter with a little wooden spatula. <laughs> wooden spatula. How they described it, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so yeah. I so. Yeah. I was able to get my part off, actually, though, with, with just my gloves once I got going. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're moving now. What are you doing, Bob? You're doing an admirable job, Bob. Uh. It really is. Looks like I'm getting there. I, on the other hand, am losing faith in my project. <laughs> really? I'm going to need you to console me over a carrot and a coffee. Good. I think we should go have that. Okay. Let's go. This, you see, is the source of my discontent. <laughs> it's... It's, it's showing multiple little holes and defects. These are called gores. These are called gores. gores. Unfortunately, to... they're right up the middle of the canoe where it's we don't where need we them. Want them to be, yes. Yeah. And so it's quite deliberate, I guess, eh? Well, it'll, it'll have to do. Mm. Beautiful. The weird thing is how this is going to have to actually go the other way. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping the. What I find weirdest about it is it's got to be watertight. <laughs> <laughs>